Well, I guess it had to happen. Um, this little budgerigar, who's a very lucky budgerigar, flew into um, our stable area, our yard area, this evening. Um, I noticed him because he was making the noises that budgerigars do. And the next thing I knew, he'd obviously gone down on the floor to look for food. And one of our rescued cats had him in her mouth. Luckily, I'd done a flying tackle and grabbed the cat. She dropped the budgie and I managed to hang on to him in my hand. He's a feisty little thing. He's, he's a biter and he's a fighter. Um, thankfully, we've got a cat transport cage that's been in Rod's shed, which is also Isadora's bungalow, for the last, um, I don't know how many years. In, in the event of obviously having to rush an animal to the hospital. So we were able to um, shut him in there rather than him biting my fingers. Rod's now gone off to the shop to purchase a cage for this little budgie because obviously we can't let him go because he's gonna get killed. Um, don't know what else to do with him. I think he's quite young. So here we go again. Looks like we have a new resident. As I said, Rod's off to get a cage for him at the pet shop and all the necessary things to keep him alive and um, we'll see how it goes from there. Just another rescue at Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre.